Novak Djokovic might end up as the all-time record holder of Grand Slam. Everyone praises his backhand and it's normal, he's the best in the game. But what about his forehand? I believe that Nole's forehand is one of the best in the world. In this 2023 Australian Open, Novak has scored the same amount of unforced errors on his forehand as on his backhand, but almost three times more winners. I'll show you in that video what makes his forehand so great so that you can use it and bring it into your game. <laughs> now I want you to focus on a few important moments. First, a very early preparation. Novak's head, all the way from the start to the end of the motion, it stays in the exact same position, facing the net and totally stable. Novak's whip effect. Novak's body transfer. One of the most important moments of any shot is the preparation, because its timing has a direct impact on the contact point. As you can see, Novak is starting his preparation while moving. The goal is to be totally set while the ball bounces on his side of the court to secure the best contact point possible. His left hand is holding the racket on its heart and brings it far. His hand leaves the racket once his right arm is behind his right shoulder. That means that the rotation of his shoulders is full. They are perpendicular to the baseline. His elbow is bent with a 90% degrees angle. His left shoulder is looking at the ball. The head of his racket looks at the sky. Progressively, the right arm goes backwards until being fully extended. His left arm is moving in a position parallel to the baseline, securing balance and avoiding a too early shoulder rotation. One of his trademarks is his grip that is quite extreme. And as you can see, the face that will hit the ball is looking at the back fence. Novak is fully loading on his right leg that is positioned behind his left one and prepares to push on it. Because of his grip, Novak has to use his elbow to turn the face of the racket in front of the ball. And as you can see, his elbow is turning inside. What is the most striking is the delay of the racket head. As you can see it, his hand accelerates fully in the direction of the ball, while Nole's wrist stays totally loose. And as a consequence, the racket head is pointing in the direction of the back fence. The grip cap, is pointing at the ball. This is what I call the whip effect. The delay of the racket head will create a huge acceleration. And as the hand goes in the direction of the ball, and as the racket is late, it comes back extremely fast to hit the ball. The shoulders are turning to end up facing the net when the contact is made with the ball. The left arm is still bent and follows the course of the shoulder. His hips are perfectly aligned with his shoulders, turning at the same time. Novak pushes on his leg in order to be at the height of the ball and to help his hips turn fast and face the net. Novak's contact point is perfect. It is standing around 30 to 40 centimeters in front of his body. As you can notice, the racket head is not perpendicular to the ground, but with a 30 degrees angle. This is because he applies spin to the ball. The motion of his right hand goes from down to up, brushing the ball. His body is perfectly balanced and straight, even though he has slightly jumped. His left arm is standing higher than the right one, bent, and his head is fixed on the ball. His upper body is in rotation, following the movement of his arm. What is interesting in Novak's forehand is the path of his racket head. You can follow it now. It goes all around the ball, brushing it from the outside and ending up with the other face of the racket at the end of it. His right shoulder ends its course in front of his chin, showing his total looseness at the end of his motion. His whole body is balanced but slightly thrown forward because he has transferred his body weight. His right leg ends its course far in front of his left one, showing a big transfer of weight from the back to the front. The space between the feet is big, half a meter, and it's important because it's ideal in order to move fast right after his shot. And finally, one of the things that is not ideal in Novak's forehand is the fact that his arm is bent. To develop the maximum power with the forehand, the ideal is to have the arm totally straight. But Novak cannot because of his grip. And because of his grip, he has to use his elbow to turn the face, the right face of the racket, to the ball. So he has to have his arm bent. I'm sure that you can use many of Novak's technical performances to add them into your forehand. Now, if you like this video and you want to see many more of those, subscribe to my YouTube channel.